fashion target breast cancer is 15 years old now. It started as a small national organization and it is now totally global. My aunt actually suffered for 10 years from breast cancer. She died at 52, so I have an emotional attachment to this. Nina Hyde, who was a very important fashion journalist from the Washington Post, got breast cancer and unfortunately she passed away. She was very close to Ralph Lauren and Ralph Lauren really wanted to do something. Ralph did a special polo shirt, which uh, is such an iconic product for Ralph Lauren. We hope, uh, but I think we will raise about a million dollars. My grandma had it. She's had it a couple of times. I mean, it's more inspiring than anything else because she was quite strong and dealt with it very well. It's a big modern problem, so it's nice to do anything you can, you know, to help raise that awareness. For us, the CFDA was a natural thing to do. For Ralph Lauren, it was about a friend and a journalist that he missed. When I got a phone call and asked, would you be involved with this? I said, absolutely. It was not a thought process. To make it exciting and fresh in its way is the colors of Ralph's shirts are making everybody feel like, oh, we can buy this really easy and we can support this cause and feel really good about the cause. Netta Porte is the leading luxury global fashion website. And so when Natalie came to us and said she wanted to be involved, we just thought it was very appropriate to do it with them. So by going on netaporte.com and um, supporting Fashion Target's breast cancer worldwide, it's a simple way to make a big difference. It started very organically and it, it has evolved into this this global force that will continue to grow. Yeah.